Hey folks, it's Marvin Cash, the host of the Articulate Fly, and we're back with another Western North Carolina fishing report with Dale Collins of Tuckasegee Fly Shop. How you doing, Dale? Doing great, Marvin. Hearing you loud and clear down here in Silva. Uh, well, that's awesome. And uh, my, the word on the street is you've, you've been a traveling man lately. Yeah, yeah. Just uh, just getting over my jet lag. Uh, spent a week and a half up in uh, Big Sky Country, southwest Montana. I fished a little bit in Idaho and played in Yellowstone National Park for a little bit. So it's good to change the scenery up and uh, get out of the rhododendron and uh, into the willows. Yeah, there you go. And I hear you ship the big mess out there this week. Yep, he's out there on our second hosted trip with some uh, great folks, and they arrived uh, today. And uh, they'll they'll have three straight days of guided fishing right there in the um, that Yellowstone corner of Montana. And unfortunately, this week they're going to be dodging some wildfires, but that kind of comes with the territory this time of year up there. Yeah, absolutely. And you know, kind of to bring things back home, it's it's cooling off and, you know, knocking on wood. I'm hoping that our summer heat's broken, but it's getting a little wet out there. Yeah, it, it, it does kind of feel like a broken record for us. And, you know, the, the Great Smoky Mountains are considered a temperate rainforest. So, you know, it, it's it's not foreign for us to see 70 inches in a year. Um, and this certainly may be one of those. Um, every day, I mean, it, it's like clockwork. We're going to see some rain somewhere. Um, and it. I saw a picture of a little creek the other day uh, that a friend sent me and uh, just outside of Silva and it was, it was a flash flood and it could have been a dangerous situation for somebody. Um, but then probably an hour later it was back within its banks and clear. So I think that's the, you know, your mornings are going to be great time to fish still uh, with overcast uh, cloud cover that we're having lately uh, as these big low pressures push through uh, it extends the fishing. So you can fish all day right now. Um, but you just have to pay attention to what the water's doing. If it does start raining really hard where you're at, um, or even upstream of where you're fishing, um, pay attention to that water color and the sound of the water. If you're getting really loud, make sure you're in a place where you can get out and stay safe. Yeah, absolutely. And, you know, we'll have to see, I guess, you know, we've got two, uh, tropical storms slash hurricanes that are heading into the Gulf, but I know some of the weather forecasts are showing them kind of pivoting, hard to the east once they make landfall and they might send some more rain your way too that's right you know we're going to be on the northeast um you know the certainly the eastern side of these and that's usually uh as that low spins that's going to throw more moisture from the gulf right into us so i think uh the tail end of the week is going to be a wet one um but you know you just have to somebody asked me today like you know what what can i plan on i was like man you have to just look out the window and you know wait five minutes and see it's just it's, it's that type of game up here and, um you know if you I know if, if, if you plan your week based on the rain percentages of a forecast you'd never come to western north carolina so yeah. you really just have to get here and enjoy the beauty i mean i, I say even our ugly days are beautiful you know when, when it's raining it's pretty here so um and it's good fishing you know the terrestrials are still kicking uh still got a good hopper bite chernobyl ant bite um dropping a dropping a pheasant tail or hare's ear or frenchy underneath that that's been really good for us this year yeah well that's great and i've got a question from landon he wants to know what flies he should be tying to come to the park to fish in october and november great time to be thinking about that already certainly you know kind of these this shoulder season if you will dog days of summer great time to be thinking about flies for october uh the first thing that comes to mind is the october caddis I mean, there's, it's a six-week window or so of when that fly is going to be around, and it's really going to start, uh, you know, late September, mid-late September, and run through October. And, you know, you kind of want to be tying those up in 12. Um, and I think Shannon's got a video on that on our YouTube channel. Um, another one, orange stimulator. Great pattern, high visibility. Um, the fish here in the Smokies, they react well to those things. Uh, even... Even the brookies will crush a number 12 stimulator. Um, and then uh, your palmers. Palmers are great. Um, and then on the nymph side of things, you know, you'd be remiss if I didn't say, you know, the Frenchie. So, and I like to tie that, you know, thread Frenchie with, uh, with like the orange uh, collar. That's, that's what I would be focusing on. Well, there you go. And folks, you know, we love questions at the Articulate Fly. If you'll send them to us, you can send them to us by email. You can shoot them to us on our Facebook or Instagram page. 
If we use your question, I'll send you some articulate fly swag and you're going to enter into a drawing for something from the shop at the end of the season. And Dale, before I let you uh, chase down some uh, Smoky Mountain IPA, uh, why don't you let folks know your hours and where they can find you and all that kind of good stuff. Absolutely. So we are located in downtown Silva, North Carolina, the North Carolina trout capital, uh, 530 West Main Street. We're nine to five Monday through Saturday. They're closed on Sunday. In downtown Bryson City, we're right on the corner of 3 Depot Street uh, with Everett Street. And um, we are 10 to 2, Monday through Wednesday, 9 to 5, Thursday through Saturday. So catch us online anytime, tuckflyshop.com, and then tuckflyshop on any of the social media outlets. Well, that's awesome. Well, listen, folks, it's a great time to get out there. You know, it's going to be wet. You know, like Dale said, if we're going to get a lot of rain, be smart about how you wait and certainly take your waiting staff. Get out there and catch a few. Tight lines, everybody. Tight lines, Dale. You too, Marvin.